Um, hello, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to our, our podcast, Computer College Podcast. My name is Shay Ali, and I'm a academic advisor at Computer College. Uh, yes, you have a special guest here today. Her name is Elizabeth Munkadi. Uh, she's here. She's a CSW student. She graduated in 2020. Um, she did community service work with us. I'm uh, really glad to have her in our in our podcast. So, uh, welcome, Elizabeth. How are you? Hi, uh, hi, Shay. Yeah, I'm good. Doing good. <laughs> Thank you so much for uh, inviting me to this podcast. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. I just wanted to start with. Um, so, how's everything going with you? Uh, how's your everything in uh, life? Everything is good. Before we get started, <laughs> yeah, everything is going good, and I have a newborn baby now. So that's the good news from my side. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Congratulations for that. Um, Thank you. You know, you have a newborn baby, so that's a really good news. That's, is that your first baby, or you have? No, oh. this is my third baby. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, good, good experience. That's good. That's good. Um, so, so thank you for um, for uh, telling us about your a bit of your personal life. Um, so we're gonna start with something like, so what's what's your background, Elizabeth? Like, were you born in Canada? Were you born outside of Canada? And if you were born outside, why did how did you decide to come to Canada? And what is your previous uh, academic and professional experience if you came from some other country than Canada? Yeah, I am basically from India, uh, from the southern part of India, Kerala, and I graduated in Bachelor of Physiotherapy uh, uh, from uh, India, and I was working in Saudi Arabia and Kuwait and so many countries and came to Canada. Finally migrated to Canada with family in 2019. Yeah. Okay. That's my uh, yeah, academic background. I came here, yeah, in 2019. That's good. So you've only been here for three years. That's not a, that's not a long time. Yeah. yeah it's been three, good. four years, yeah. That's good. So you did you work as uh, your previous the bachelor degree you have in physiotherapy? Did you get any? Did you get the chance to work in that field in India? Yeah, I was uh, I was working as a physiotherapist in India and also in uh, Saudi Arabia. Both I was working as a physiotherapist. After coming to Canada, it was a pandemic time, and we need lots of paperwork and licensing and program everything to be done. So, which was a pandemic situation, all the colleges and universities were closed. I couldn't do my paperwork and so I wanted to choose another career to start in uh, Canada. That's how I came to CSW. That's good. So let's start with how how is um, how you like in Canada? How has your journey been so far? Um, especially when you come from a different uh, background as I come from myself. Um, yeah. you know, leaving everything behind, family members, everything, your career, your professional life, your personal life coming to a new country, um, setting up, starting from scratch. So how, how's it going for you now? Um, initially, it was challenging because we all know uh, pandemic was a challenging. In, in addition to this, I was new to Canada. So I had small two kids that time. So it was very challenging time to me wherever we go. They asked for a Canadian experience and Canadian education. So it was challenging in the early time. And after uh, starting, after taking a good decision to start uh, education in Canada, I was quite okay. I was satisfied and did my uh, completed my CSW. And now I got many opportunities to work, but because of my personal life I couldn't go for work now I'm in maternity so definitely after all this I will definitely go for a good job yeah I had a good opportunity from computer college to complete my education yeah that's uh that's really good so you can so one so the main question that I want to uh one of the exciting questions um how how did you hear about computer college so how did you find about us how did it all start it uh, computer college, I um, first of all, I wanted to do something in the field of social work. So I was searching for it and through my friend, I heard about this course and it was an online course because 
at that time all the kids were at home and we couldn't go for an in-person class and everything was closed. So one of my friends uh, referred me to computer college and I came and I chose this course. That's how I came here. Oh, that's perfect. So your friend was um, the bridge between yeah. you and, uh, and that's great. Yeah. Um, she also did uh, two a few courses in the computer college. So she told me that it's a, it will be a good decision if you go with computer college. Um, no, that's perfect. We, it's, it's, it's glad to hear that you really, that was, that's what makes us the most happy. Yeah. People are uh, happy with our service and our courses and our education services we have. Um, so you started with uh, with your friend Refro and you came and you found about our college and you got admission. So um, who was the advisor that took care of you? Was 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 experience? Who was the one who dealt with you when the first time you came in that uh, who told you about the classes, do you remember? Uh, it was everything, my faculty. Uh, my faculty was the one who, uh, I didn't uh, directly came with, through my faculty. She was the one who explained me about this course and everything, gave me a brief orientation. And I was quite satisfied and I decided to continue. Oh, that's, that's great. So you continued um, the, the program. The question that I actually want to ask, uh, not... Uh, in, in the beginning, but I want to ask in the, in, in the ending, but I want to like to ask now because I think it's something um, I have done some podcasts before, but I haven't asked anyone this question, I think. I, that's what I think. I'm not sure. I have to check. Uh, but I think, uh, so the placement, so we have a placement opportunity in, in community service work. Yeah. For the last three months, I think you have. Uh, yeah, last three there. months we have placement. Yeah. So how was your experience in 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 the community service worker internship, and how, and do you think is it really important for to have internship? Do you think it's it's a great thing to have, or do you think it's it's okay? You know, it's you know, it's fine even if we don't have it. What's your opinion? In my opinion, I will definitely say we need placement because we study everything and the, through, through these nine months, we study everything about what are the organizations we have, what are the fields we can go through. But when we go practically to do, I had personally, I had my placement in Ontario Heroes. It was a very good opportunity for me to come across what are the fields, what are the opportunities we have in the community. So I worked with Ontario Heroes and I gained a lot of knowledge and gained a lot of experience in that. So definitely I will prefer uh, to placement. Placement is really very helpful for us. No, that actually to perfect. start a career, to start a career, placement is very important. Yes, for sure, because even if you look at um, other career colleges or community colleges, um, placement is is a uh, plays a key role because a lot of students do. Yeah, from it's a key role because after education we cannot directly go for a job. We need some experience or we need some training. What is going on and how we can approach. Everything we need to learn during the placement time, yeah. It was a very good experience for me, yeah. That's that's great to hear that because the placement experience is, mm -hmm. is um, yeah. something that's really important. And some, it's also really tough because uh, most of our, a lot of our students, so I can say, um, are adult students. So, like, they, they, are, they have a family already. They're not, like, uh, they have kids and they're married. So they have a lot of responsibilities. It gets a bit tougher for them, and I think it's I think it's more important for them to do a placement because I feel like when you already have a different background and then you yeah. in the field, you, it's more mentally for you to have experience. Yes, you you are you're a bit older than the younger people are coming that in early twenties or nineteen go to college. I think it makes a bigger difference because you know like you are such a field you have experience and you and, you, and you, it makes a I give you a bit of a step ahead on to get a job if you have uh, you can tell yeah. me uh, uh, placement yeah that is also one kind of experience when we go for when we apply for a job it is also placement is also considered as an experience or opportunities we face oh, that's perfect that's something uh, it was really really um, nice to hear because I really wanted to ask there was a lot of um, students who have that question but for me mm -hmm. personally I think the placement is a really really amazing opportunity yeah very really good opportunity uh, so the course that she's done it was is a one-year program how was the overall experience with with the staff members um to, like how was your feedback what would you tell um, other students 
one I, I will I will definitely recommend this course because since it was online we had a very good quality education uh, because some people we may consider that in person education will be good and I, they will doubt whether online education will be or how it will be but I will definitely uh, uh, say that this online education which I uh, did in computer college was really uh, was a very good opportunity for us without compromising the standard of quality education. We had a very good faculty, Ms. Betsy. Uh, she was so helpful for us and she we had all the, just like an in-person, we had all the modules and we had group activities, group, uh, um, group programs, everything was possible. Yeah, it was a very good opportunity for us and all the faculties was very nice and we were able to cover up all the modules and had uh, had an opportunity you know, to learn a lot of things apart from education it was it helped me to learn many things about Canada because as a new immigrant I don't know anything about Canada so it was very helpful this course was very helpful for me to learn about Canada to learn about the history of Canada what are the opportunities we have in Canada so it was really helpful and to be honest uh, our faculty Betsy was really helpful for us yeah yeah because you know I was I remember because I have actually as an academic advisor when Suna comes to us when we advise them I actually have especially for the community service worker program I have students who have especially I can count three to four students right now in my head because uh, I have so many students but I can remember for clearly who actually asked me we only want Betsy yeah <laughs> like, what time is best to teaching group study i'm like they're like it's okay we will manage you manage our work we change our shifts we want betsy so you know i, I told betsy that, that you know you're really famous i need to know uh, i need to get proper like you because everyone wants you so i, I think that's what really makes me happy that teachers are doing such a great job where we have students who are yeah. coming in because you know, um, yeah we all have uh gap after education so it takes time for, it's difficult for us to sit in front of the computer with the kids and everything but she was so helpful for us she made us to be comfortable in the class and uh, all the assignments and everything was uh, she helped us a lot and she gave us good ideas and she made everything uh, because the Canadian education is new for us so we don't know how the format here and how we have to approach and everything she taught us everything very quietly calmly and it was very helpful for us we had a stress-free education to be honest we should say yeah that's me that's what we need that's what we need yeah. education um so you know i actually that question was is always also a really important question and that's the question that is actually in everyone's mind and that's the question where uh, everyone's asking now and no one's really sure everybody has their own opinion on this question mm -hmm. Um, is online classes or in-person classes? That's the main thing right now. Everyone, some people say, you know, um, online classes are good. We learn everything. Everything is, is perfect. And there are few people, I would say not a lot, but few people who are, who are in supportive of in-person classes. Um, what's your, what's like, just for your own opinion now, because I, because, uh, I, I think it both has, even in person classes had its own advantages mm -hmm. and has own disadvantages same with the online one right so we it's, it's a 50 50 thing so what's your opinion what what do you think is well they obviously there's some programs that you cannot do in in per in online like there's some uh, training like you know yeah. uh, academies or firefighters all those uh, even doctors or they have to be do some practicals um but What's your opinion? Do you think it should permanently? Because I think we, because my, my sister is in the high school, so she she's going back to uh, school in person now after like two years. Um, so what do you think? Is it is it is it good to keep it online, or you think in person it should be a better choice? What's your opinion? Um. Yeah, as you said, in person and online both have their own advantages and disadvantage, and. With my experience with Computer College, I feel online education was very helpful and it was um, uh, good for me. 
because I had XP online education with computer college. So I had a good experience studying online. I don't feel that I miss that. Uh, with CSW, we can learn everything. We had some group activities and everything, but that we did in online and it was very successful. I don't think so. But yeah, as you said, there are some professions like firefighters, doctors, nurses. They should have some practical experiences. Apart from that, if we can learn online, uh, it, it's a good opportunity. I don't think so. There is much difference. Yeah, except for the things which we need personal in-person training. Yeah, that's, that's correct. I think what I was thinking is, uh, it should be like, I think we should give them a choice. Yeah, it, it should be a choice. If we have a choice to go for online education, I don't think so. That's the wrong thing. If we have a choice, we can go for it. That's perfect. Yeah. So there's a lot of students who have. Uh, because uh, in my, uh, I will say, uh, like after so many years, like me, after, like in the 19s or 1920s, they, no problem, they can all have, if they have family and everything, so many people, they cannot uh, complete their education or they cannot go for higher studies because of their uh, challenges with the family, they couldn't go for in person. For those, this is a very good opportunity. So because of this online education, they can continue their education and they can go for job. So it is a very good golden opportunity for the people like us to go with online education. That's, that's good to hear. That's uh, we are not compromising any quality in that. I think it's, we get everything in the online education. Yeah, I think that if you think it deeply, I think when you're in classes, right, as I said, if you set some profession on a side, some of them, not all of them, and mm -hmm. they don't require, if you I need to be in the class and listen to lectures and do some notes, then that could be done also from home and online. Yeah. I think it's also, it should be, also when, there should be some time you can meet up with your classmates, you know, and... Yeah, they, uh, yeah, if we get opportunities, yeah, once in a while we can meet up, but... We get all the lectures, we get all the notes, we do all the activities, we do all the assignments. Everything can be done in the online. There is nothing I feel. Yeah, that's, I think that's a good thing. I, I have the same opinion. Um, and this is one of the questions that I ask everyone. I also ask another. Uh, I, I also took an interview of uh, on our podcast on a, on, a, on a lady. She was also from India. She has the same badge. Not the same field, but a mm. different field. And I asked her the same question, I remember, and I'm going to ask you the same question. Um, is So you have a background, education background from before from India. Do you Did you face any difficulties um, looking for a job? Or even I'm not sure if you tried because you were just new in the pandemic hit. But if have you, or you have any friends or you know someone who has faced, because I, I hear a lot of stories when I, as an advisor, when I work with students, they have education background from before, and they're like, but their their background is not recognized, um, and they face like they and everyone, even you have a degree from back home, you know, whichever engineer, whichever field you are in, when you come here, they ask for Canadian experience. They they all this focus on Canadian experience, like bring us Canadian experience. Even you are really um, professional, have experience in some different countries. So did you face any problems? Um, in, in that matter, like, because you already have a back on your physiotherapist, you said in Saudi Arabia, right? Or, uh, yeah, yeah. And, and, Saudi Arabia. And, also, and India, you have experience from both countries. So, what's your opinion? You think it's is it true you have difficulties, or you think it's just a myth? Yes, it's true. Everyone, those who are migrating to uh, Canada, they initially have some difficulties to get the job in their own field because they have to do get accreditation from the from the particular organization canadian organization that their education is equal to the canadian education and they all these paperwork are very complicated and some of them are not uh, getting recognized and they have to start a new profession that's how they all the most of them 90 percent are facing the difficulty to get a job in their own field yeah i think i i i heard a lot of stories too so yeah that's that's a difficulty so i so i think it's it's, it's important for you um to so when when we have all these difficulties the colleges like computing really give give us a bridging bridge to attain our fulfill our dream or 
to uh, uh, to select uh, a different field or to switch to a different job. So these colleges are very very helpful for us. Yeah, I think that's that's something a lot of people need to. I, mm. I recently, before I we started this podcast, I had a student. Uh, that student was telling me how the he was nurse back home, worked in hospitals, and he speaks perfect English. But he was uh, speak actually perfect English, amazing English. He's only been here for one year, and then he was uh, facing issues even getting in um, into some colleges, um, and it was get, it was it was getting difficult for him to get an education and pursue his field. And I and I, I think it's a big big sacrifice that the immigrants make. Um, as my my parents did as well when they come in with no like they have experience and education, but when they come here, nothing is kind of valid. You have to do it again, and you have so much of time. So I think. So that makes uh, community college, the college, more important because our, our most of our students are immigrants. Yeah. They come from countries, they come different backgrounds. Uh, we help them out. Uh, we, we, we show them the field which they love, get them education, get them the training to make sure that they're, they're able to fulfill their dream. And there's something really beautiful. Um, and I have actually a lot of stories um, with students um, that we, were, we, we, we provide education and doing really well. Um, actually, uh, we also have some students. Um, I remember uh, that the student was um, in, faced a lot of wars. The student was really, from a young age, was uh, taken away from the family because of war issues, and the, the had uh, uh, was separated from his family. So the family was somewhere else. The person was somewhere else. The person didn't know who their family is. They they had no idea. Lived like an orphan, and uh, no education background. Uh, came to Canada as a refugee, got some high school, studied with us, and now that person works a really good job. And that person was so scared to talk. If, if you meet that person, that person comes here quite often um, and never stops talking because he's so happy what he has achieved. Because I think it's really important to realize how immigrants come from different backgrounds, from different <laughs> tough lives, and they're thankful for every little thing. That maybe as Canadians now be living in this country are not thankful for. Um, so I think that's something really big sacrifices as you made, have a different education background, different experience, came here, got education, started from the beginning. But uh, you you were you there now, so you you did really well. Um, so that's something we're really proud of. Um, so you said you got an opportunity. So how? So the next question is, that's the main question. That's the question that everyone asks. Even I asked when I went from education. Will I get a job? Because that's something everyone looks for. That's the main reason everyone wants education. They want a good job, get settled in life, and, and move on and get the dreams fulfilled. So um, how difficult was it for you get, for you get a job? How about you think about the job market? How, how, what was the journey for you? Uh, with the CSW, I will say we have a lot of opportunities, various fields, because it is not a particular field. We can either go for housing, we can either go for healthcare setup, or any public organization. So we have a lot of opportunities to work as a CSW. So I got, um, I started searching, after my education, I started searching. I, I could find, and computer college also help us by giving various links, job fair, everything. And I started searching. I got a lot of job opportunities. And, uh, uh, and but because of my personal reason, I couldn't continue to go for job. But we have a lot of opportunities. And Computec also gives us uh, many job links and everything to search for a job. So we have a lot of help from all around. And this had also helped me a lot to search uh, for a job. Yeah, they also give us a lot of links and they uh, educate us about what are the organizations we can go and what are the opportunities we have in the society. So it's, uh, I don't think so you will be without job after the CSW. Definitely you will have it. That's a big relief because, um, mm -hmm. you know, I, I love this podcast because when I meet students, um, mm -hmm. then I can ask some questions that they were they get that student ask me when they come in the first time mm -hmm. and it's really so that's what i'm asking you ask a lot of other people sometimes the same question see maybe it's says a different answer because everyone has a different opinion mm -hmm. but i'm getting the same answer for everyone till yet so that's a good news mm -hmm. um and so of course our placement team they're always there for um, 
our my students and they especially our team the place which is working good she's yeah. helping um so so that's amazing um so the job market is is as you say is pretty good you can work in different industries yeah. not only in just one industry because i have actually had students so this is the next question that's built up to this one i actually i was asked this question i think yesterday i remember so a lot of people because you know as we go in in education we have a lot of education institutions hmm. um, they are community colleges they are private colleges and even i had this question personally so are you more experienced than me actually in professional life so um so does it matter this is actually a big question that i always had in my mind too and i'm pretty sure when your kids get old to that stage they will also have that question if i go to this university will i get a job or if i go to this college will i get a job or which one is better do i get a degree is it more valuable is a diploma is more valuable so i got a question i i ask everyone ask me this question for sure because everyone wants a good job they ask me will different companies or different institutions different industries recognize our diploma like you know example if i go with the seneca college diploma and you go with computer college you know will they take it will they accept it so what's do you face any i would say discrimination discrimination uh because you were from computer college a private college not from a seneca or university of toronto in my experience i didn't face anything uh when i go with a computer the uh, the diploma i didn't face anything all the organizations were recognizing it i didn't face anything that's good it's a big relief because yeah. um um as you know um cuz i had a lot of questions like this but there was yeah they all had a doubt because we are coming from private college or community college is there any difference or will the other organizations build because when i applied i got a call from the hospital i got a call from the public organizations uh, cross culture the uh, catholic cross culture and uh, from the housing department i got a call from all these departments so i don't think so there is a much difference with studying in computer yeah, yeah. i think the same because i think i always when someone uh, when a student comes to me they ask me you know uh, will i get a job i always said to them honestly i'm like we will help you get a job we will do our best we we'll give 100% but it's never a guarantee and they are, and i'm like why is not a guarantee because we provide you links as you said we provide you jobs where you apply we make, we help you make a resume that's that's appealing that's attractive so you can get calls but obviously it's up to all of us on each individual to show their communication skills or their skills in interview we cannot really do in that part yeah. but of course we can show you and guide you through the interview process like how to get there but of course it's on every individual to impress them towards when they go for interview yeah that's true it's in our part but we need a part we need a, someone to guide us that's what we need from computer college that we get it from computer college and our placement centers we need a guidance to because we are new to this field and we don't know how to approach and how especially a resume and everything so they are very helpful for us to show the way to go and the rest is with the student of course Yeah, of course. That's 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 what actually we were um, talking about because a lot of our students um, have those similar questions. Everyone has the same question. Obviously, when you come into an education institution, main questions are: Can I get a job? Is it is it worth it? What's my what's my education is different? Will I able to study? Will I able to um, to pass or fail? Everyone has different concerns. Same concerns. Mm-hmm. Uh, same question. Mostly everyone. Um, also a lot of students that i think i i think that's also in a lot of communities especially um if you take any communities such as south asian communities the way we both belong from we can take from the different institutions different communities from north south any country immigrants come from um i i think they not they don't know this um and i meet a lot of students even from india i meet a lot of students who have no idea about this and uh, can this and they actually not getting an education because of finances a lot of people don't pursue education because they think it's too expensive and it is true it's not it's not cheap but a lot of people don't know this that in in canada in ontario you have a uh, financial assistance from the government that you could use you could use to get your education and you could uh, get education without using anything from your pocket 
we are we're lucky enough to have the government support. So did you know anything about those those financial stuff or you were you had no idea when you came? No, I I didn't have anything uh, any knowledge about this financial um, assistance in the beginning. So after my friend referred me to Computer College and she explained me about because I was also scared because I was new to Canada and I cannot afford for the education and everything. And I was also scared how it will be if I start the education here. Could should will I able to complete it? Will I able to study? Will I able to manage? So everything was a question mark for me. So. So after coming here, they explained me everything about the financial assistant. They guided me to complete all the applications, and this was very helpful for me. And uh, that's how I knew about it. That's great. That's great. That's that's something that allows. Yeah, know. it is very helpful for us. Yeah. Exactly. Because Especially we cannot be without a job, and it was pandemic time that time, and it was very hard for us to. Survive, so it helped. This financial assistance from the Ontario government helped us a lot. Exactly, because I think this is something new immigrants also need to. Uh, they don't know about this, and then, then they feel like um, you know they can like continue education and they're doing jobs that they don't love. So I think that's something um, that's that's not that as need to be more aware of, but you know, people don't know. Uh, but we're trying our best to um, to. To, to guide people to their careers, and so they can they can get involved in the community, and they can and will get involved in the economic of the countries and work in, in the field. Um, and I think we uh, we discussed about the journey to Kabir College, how you came from India, your background, you came with, you you came to Canada, um, you joined Kabir College, you had a nice experience. Uh, everybody, all the staff, was, I'm happy to get everyone was really helpful, and you love the service. Uh, your placement was really smooth. I think it's important. Uh, we also discussed about um, the, the 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 worth of commuter diploma in the in the industry. Is it good or not? Uh, we discussed about financial um, uh, services that the government provides and that could help you. Um, there's there's a lot of basic things and also important things that we we discussed. Um, and uh, was 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 an amazing conversation we had. Um, was it was I was honored and it was really nice speaking to you. Even though we meeting the first time, I I I never met you before, but we have heard about you a lot. You one of our great students. Um, so thank you so much. I uh, you know I really appreciate your time. You gave us your precious time. Uh, and you came up a lot of students. A lot of students who are really excellent, but they are not. Uh, they they're not available and they're busy or they're they're shy. But you came up. So thank you so much for that. Uh, that's what our podcast is gonna end because we have uh, we have we had all the questions. But if you have anything to say before you wanna go, please go ahead. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, it was nice sharing my experience because I want other people to be uh, to utilize this opportunity and um, to gain knowledge and because many are scared of how to start education or how to uh, switch uh, their fields or how to start a new career. So I'm a good example for them. So it is not uh, it's very difficult. So you can, it's, it's, it's challenging in the beginning, but you can go through if you choose a good college and if you have a good faculty, you can come across and get success in life. And I will recommend uh, other people to go through computer college also definitely <laughs> uh thank you so much and we also want to thank our audience for who will be watching thank you so much for the time um and uh, elizabeth gave us really good uh, highlights and uh, of the, her experience and our her journey with computer college uh, we thank everyone for watching too thank you so much for watching our podcast uh it was amazing to have you guys and hopefully we'll meet you guys in the next session thank you so much elizabeth and have a wonderful day thank you sherry thank you bye